Liz has always been a dream for my husband and I to, to direct. Um, ever since we saw it back in the 80s, um, and it's our favorite musical. And we had always said that if the rights ever became available, we wanted to be the first community theater in central Ohio to do it. And so we are. And so we decided from the very first time, we've got to do this show sometime. And we've been trying now, boy, 15 years, maybe 10, 15 years, trying to get the rights to it. So um, when we were able to get the rights to it, we just jumped on it. Um, it's um, by far probably my favorite musical of all time. We were going to do You're in Town uh, this summer, and um, I had already, you know, ordered the script and applied for the rights to You're in Town. And then, you know, when Les Mis became available, we were like, we're doing this. So everybody wanted to be a part of this, and uh, that was proven by the fact that we had 150 people show up, or more, show up for auditions. We had uh, probably 50 to 75 people coming to early rehearsals before we even cast the show. So, you know, it, it's just, I think everybody feels the same way about this play. I and mean, we've got a great cast, great people and great roles. And uh, what makes it so much fun and exciting is that I know when I'm down in the pit, I'm not going to be bored. This moves. Every song is a good one. I think we have an amazing cast and um, everybody is each one is more talented than the next and uh, so I think that they are gonna they should expect to see close to professional quality. I got chills the first time we rehearsed you know just hearing everybody sing. It's an epic and it goes through there's a love story and there are good guys and bad guys uh, just like any epic but what really makes it special is the music. It's just uh, so beautiful. It's an important musical to do. And it relates to today, I mean, the basic feelings that people have. There is a, a triumph of the human soul over situations in which they have been placed. It involves sadness. It involves death. But I think at the end, there's almost a resurrection of the soul. That, that no matter what you do to the soul, you'll never defeat it.